Hello, my name is Ankur Palotia and I am a technical specialist at the Center of Excellence. Today, I will talk about the right to Google Sheets integration. So here are some of the use cases for right to Google Sheets integration. For compliance purposes, you might want to keep track of all the completed tasks and task owner's details. For example, their name and their phone number. As a finance person, you might want to perform some financial calculations like and value analysis, or as a marketing or HR person, you might want to track efficiency of work done over a period of time using historical data. This is how data mapping will take place. On top, you can see four columns that will be part of Google Sheets, task name, task status, task owner name, and task owner phone number. These fields will be mapped to different fields in Drive, one thing to note is not everyone in right has phone number. For example, Jet has phone number, whereas Shanti does not. In case someone does not have a phone number, we will add not available. This is how data flow will look like. First, we will check if the task is completed in right. If it is, then we will get username using user ID from right. This is a custom call and I will talk more about custom call in a moment. Then we will check if phone number is present. If phone number is present, we will add data under those four columns in Google Sheets. If it is not, we will add data under first three columns and add phone number as not available. So I've set up the recipe in Workato. The first step is trigger. The trigger happens in Rike. If a task is completed in Rike, it will trigger the event. Now I could have select could have selected any other status of task other than completed, but for this particular use case, I'm only looking for tasks which are in completed state. Also, I have created a folder called Project One Planning, on which this recipe will be working on. Now, what I will get from step one is the user ID of the person who was the task owner. This user ID is an alphanumeric code like A1, B2, C3. So what I do, I create a custom call. In custom call, I create an action and I've named it get username using user ID. You could actually give it any name. Then I use get method. And this is the URL that I'm using. So this is what it looks like. Get slash user slash user ID. I'm, I'm using this URL. And this URL gives me a response. And in response, I can get first name and last name. This will be useful for me in the next step where I have to uh, use the username uh, in data fields in Google Sheets. Then I've got an if statement. If phone number is present, I will add data under the four columns. So I have got my Google Drive setup, and that's the name of my spreadsheet. By the way, it's here. That's the name of my spreadsheet, and that's the name of the sheet. And I've mapped the four columns to the um, different fields in Rike. Now I've got the first name and last name from step two, which was the custom action. And in case phone number is not present, initial steps will be similar, except the last one where the task on a phone number will be set to not available. Now let's save the recipe and see if this is working fine. So currently there is no entry in Google Sheets and both the tasks are set to new. Shante does not have a phone number. Jack does have a phone number.
So I've started the recipe. And I will change the status of this task to complete it. Now, Workato will take five minutes before it picks up the fact that the status has been changed. So I will click on check now. And it has found those two jobs. And I can see these two entries in Google Sheets now. These two tasks have been completed. I can see the name of task owners and the phone numbers.